sort of backup, switched the game mode to survival, destroyed all the stuff that I had on me, and I put my character here, look, locked in a cage. Let's just say the poacher shot me with a, a tranquilizer dart or something like that, okay? I don't want to see a single goddamn person in the comments saying that this is right, okay? N not a single one. In, in fact, you want, and I want you to write a comment that says, wow, good thing the poacher didn't kill you. You got out of that one barely, okay? Write something like that instead. Okay, I will not die a second time. I, I, I promise you I will not die a second time. Impossible. Okay, with that out of the way, so I, I woke up in this cage, right? Yeah, that's, that's what happened. And uh, through the bars, I could see that there were some animals in cages outside or something, and that there's a guard walking around. There was a bed, and I slept in it because I didn't want to run out of this house in the dark and get smoked by a skeleton or anything like that. Okay, so the next day, who, whoever, whoever the idiot is that built this cage, uh, they're, they're stupid. Because look at this, the floor's made out of sand. So you know what? I just, I just dug out of there, and I walked over to the front door and looked out the window, and the, the poacher was gone. That was not Dang. intentional. That man was supposed to still be. So it was supposed to be a part where I was gonna like fight him, uh, but I guess he despawned. So I didn't want to fix it. That's just how it is. So I walked out of the house and uh, went out to the main cages and took a look around. And wow, look at all these animals. No. Trapped in cages. Not good. Couldn't leave these guys like this. We're winning this game. Get over it. Around and I released all of them, including the shark. Sucks to be you. you know what? In retrospect, probably wasn't the best idea. Probably killed that shark. Anyways, the poachers had also captured some villagers uh, and put them in this underground cage thing, which sucks for them. But you know what? I'll rescue them later. Okay, so uh, after that, I, I dug out of the camp and just ran into the jungle as fast as I could to get out of there. Ran straight into a swamp that was full of piranhas. Oh, they go for me. Oh, my God. Here's what I don't understand. Okay, you know piranhas? These things don't attack people. And most piranhas aren't actually carnivorous. Only a few, tiny, and only a couple of them are. Only a couple of them are interesting. And of those, none of them attack humans. Okay, river monsters prove that, okay? So I don't know why these guys were trying to attack me. And so it took me all day, but eventually I found my house, and uh, that poacher, I guess, went inside and looted my chest, which was full of all that iron I found. So that was good. I was very, very happy to have that. And I made armor and uh, went to bed. The next day, I went out and uh, I had to resupply yet again, so I got crab legs, wood, and other stuff. Nothing interesting happened at all this time. Day 11. It was similar, except this time, I, I just did it underground. I mined and I got more iron. The next day, I Wait, why do you have such low health? To get for arrows, uh, and I crafted an iron halberd. Uh, these things? Wow, these things, are, these things are deadly. Water was becoming an issue. I, I couldn't venture far from the house without having to turn back shortly after to get some. I guess that was, that's what happened when you, when you drink salt water all day. And I know you're thinking, yeah, you should just yeah, get the bucket, purify the water. And you know what? I did that. It's not worth the effort at all. It takes way too long to do it, and you only get, like, a tiny little bit extra water. It's not worth it. And yes, I tried to make an infinite water source of purified water. So don't, it doesn't work. Don't, don't, I don't see any comments about that. Why are you so low? What you can do is you can, you can get water filters and make a canteen. So, uh, that, that was something I put on the to-do list. But I, more importantly, I needed Did he go down? My shelter, so I went back to mining. The next day, I made more iron pickaxes so I could mine for longer. And I spent the entire day mining. But I found, look at this. Three diamonds. There we go. God damn, finally diamond. Baby. I had no idea what I was going to do with them, but yeah, I, I went back up and uh, it was night. And I had a ton of cobblestone. Okay, I was very hungry on day 15. I woke up the hungriest man in the world. This was a problem for a couple reasons, okay? Because this was such a beautiful island. I didn't want to be a man here killing a bunch of animals, you know? I just wanted to let them be. I was fine with killing crabs because they're crabs. Who cares? To walk around with little, little legs and a shell doesn't matter. But at some point, you know what? You gotta say, huh? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kill one extra animal. Because the crab meat just wasn't no. cutting it for me anymore. So I went out and I found a pig meat. Hey, doggo. You know, otherwise known as the Hexa Pod Pod on Why did I write this in the script? Yeah. Oh my god. Well, if you die, you die, Tristan. She's native to the forests and swamps of West Africa. The bulk of their diet consists of ferns, broad. I'm not, I'm not reading this. Why is that? A Anyways, I killed the hippo. Took him down. Took the man right down. Got his meat. All the good meat. Good, good to do this. And right after that, look at this. I found a sloth. I loved this man. How's it going, my man? I will not eat you. I chance to eat you. I'm just hanging out. How's it going? 
I wanted this guy. I, I wanted him badly. So I went home, figured out how to make a lead, uh, made one, came back, attached it to him, uh, and then... Oh my oh, god. Oh, you died to Doggo? Oh Oh, like chill. Excuse me, sir. You can't keep a parrot in a cave. No, I gotta, I gotta relax. I gotta, I gotta build a house first. I can't be, I can't be making noise. Shut up! I'm fighting people. Okay, I, I, I need to, I need to expand. Okay, day 17. I did not much. I was walking around and I'll get you later, Tristan. Trying to die to dogger then, dum dum. Hey Tristan, how you doing? I wanted to go explore, but I knew I knew there was gonna be probably some bad boys on us, so I thought it's something I would Ooh, nice loot. Thanks, man. On. Okay, I was gonna make a canteen. I needed sugar cane, because I needed a uh, paper to make filters and drink more salt water, so uh I went out looking for it. I saw the island across here was looking pretty cool, so I, I decided to go over there and see if there's some sugar cane on that island and uh I got there. There's a ton of animals, okay? These things were walking around everywhere and I was thinking, you know what? A man who's a little bit hungry, so maybe if I just kill one more, one or two more, you know, not so bad. Plus Excuse me. So I killed the horse. Oh, oh my God, just ready for this night. What? Okay, okay, for real, for you ready for it? Oh my God. Oh my God, I should not have eaten the horse. See, there it is. Now, like I was doing. My way home, my my boat was attacked by piranhas. They don't care. Oh wait, they're coming for me. Yeah, they're coming for my boat. Yeah, I love that. You know, little, little, little guys biting at your boat trying to take you down. Okay. Uh, anyway, so when I got home, I got my got my canteen and I planted my sugar cane. I put it down in patches because you know I'm still thinking about the tornado coming in. Hey, Tristan. So Tristan. Oh. The sugar cane launching it across the island somewhere. So I put it in patches so that if a tornado did come, it hopefully wouldn't get all of it. Oh my God. Fine. I was getting real sick of the cave, and uh, I guess so was Fly Nap or whatever I named him. He tried to get out. Look at this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice try, my man. You guys trying to fly outside. You'll get, you'll get to come outside eventually, just not now, okay? So I, I needed to build something. It was almost day 20, and I was still in a cave. But that meant getting more wood. So I spent the entire day getting a ton of wood. You know, makes me think that a tornado was about to come down. So when I walked outside, I saw the leaves blowing around, and I got very, very, very nervous. Ready to see all my Listen, I call I call this supply drop, all right? No storm game. All right. It's my supply drop. I started looking around for a place that I could build my new shelter, and uh, wow, I got very distracted because I saw something just just absolutely amazing when I was up there. Crab in a boat. Look at that. The man just got right in the boat. Hell yeah, I was very excited, so I ran right off. This is my supply drop, all right? Take a look at him. Like look at look at this little guy getting in the boat. No, get that. The only problem was that If I tried to get in the boat. So I decided to build him a little shelter because I gotta, gotta protect this man. And I realized as I was doing that, I was building a little cobblestone house from very similar to another man. You know, another man who I tragically lost in a very, very similar way. So I named this man Kraba Tutu in his honor. Okay, so the next day, I finally started building my shelter. My plan was to build a big attached platform to the side of the mountain and then make these giant yeah. windows that overlooked the distant island and ocean and say, oh, wait, it was going to look cool. Uh, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. Oh, my handling, God. Living in luxury. Okay. That was my plan. So I started with uh, cobblestone trim to get the shape, and then I filled the floor in with uh, wood planks. Okay, the next thing is back in Bro, what the fuck? I didn't, this, I didn't want this platform to be like floating off the side of the mountain. I thought that would look really stupid. So I got a bunch of wood again and made this giant wooden pillar, which cost a lot. It was real expensive, but you know what? It looks, it looks good, so it was fine. Getting up and down from the shelter was kind of annoying, though. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not very good at the game, so I kept falling and breaking my legs, trying to get up and down quickly. I wasn't really worried about making a staircase. But you know what? I, sh I should have been. Because I didn't build one until like day 90. And my god, was it annoying. 
I, I spent so much time climbing up. I should have built a staircase here. I should have stopped building the shelter and made a staircase. I'm kind of annoyed about that, to be honest. Okay, the next day I went to my farm and I uh, got some sugar cane so that I could make some filters for the water so I could stop drinking salt water, even though it probably still would be salt water. Yeah, it absolutely would still be salt water. Whoa, whoa, I'm getting time to, I'm getting time to, whoa. I don't, know, I don't know. It worked in the game and that's, that's what matters. Uh, Flynap made a, another escape attempt. No, 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 This man, this man really wanted out of the cave. Hey, the house is coming along. It was, so it was starting to take shape and it was looking good, but, uh... What the fuck? What are you doing? Good job, Tristan. You cost me all my shield. Thanks. No, I'm not driving with you. Hell no. Obviously, you cost me all my shield. I'm driving with you. Yeah, killing the tiger in this case, you're killing two tigers. Not a big deal, okay? Don't worry about it. Because look at this. I made a beautiful tiger fur helmet. People show up to this island now, they see a man coming out with a tiger helmet. And they're going to say, wow, this guy, this guy's really been living on this island. And I'll say, yep, I have been working hard. But you know what? There was a cost for killing those beasts. Because the next morning, I woke up to another goddamn storm. There's leaves and stuff around. Oh my god. Oh, it's pushing me out. It's blowing this way. Oh my god, it's sucking out of. No, it's showing me. No, 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 no. No, I have way too much stuff on me. Oh no, now it's grabbing me. I should have gone after the grill. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm in such a bad place right now. Okay, once that was. The storm was over. I saw that it had sucked up a tiger and launched the man into the ocean. And I thought to myself, you know, the tiger is drowning. Any help. There's no way I can get this thing back to land, so I may as well kill it and get a little bit more tiger fur. Okay. The idea of me in full tiger fur armor was getting, getting, getting to my head. Anyways, I got the fur, and uh, wow, I got to see a nice sunset. Yeah, I know. I have people on me. Peaceful sunset. Beautiful. The next morning when I returned to my house that I was building, uh, I was pissed, okay? The goddamn tornado had sucked up half of it. Okay, so the tornado ripped right through here. Oh, sucks for you, Tristan. Shanna yeah. fucking left me. Ripped up all the grass on this box. Oh, good for you, Tristan. Shanna left me. And it ripped apart half my house. And that's not even the worst part. Yeah, the tornadoes in this, they can suck up your chests and just launch them and you'll never see them again. And my chest was full of wood and, and, and cobblestone. Oh my god, please. It sucked up my, no. It sucked up my chest too. Okay. Should be good. Oh my god. Do you know what that meant, right? And it was me going back into the jungle to get even more wood. Should have titled this video, I spent a hundred days getting wood, because that's what it felt like. I was getting real sick of this. And I was getting worried. Eh? Well, I'm just going to keep building shelters and tornadoes are going to come and just take them away from me all the time. So I did what I did best in difficult situations. I came up with a plan. A fool Oh. Plan. You see, tornadoes, keep... they can't suck up stone. It's too heavy. No way. They can't, they can't pull it up. Wood they can get, but stone, old true stone. So my idea was to build a stone roof. Two layers of way too heavy stone. So the tornado, I could, I could build whatever I wanted underneath the stone roof. The tornado could not get to it. I'd be safe. My animals would be safe. It'd be no problem. The only issue was that I needed way more stone now. So that meant uh, going back down into the mines. Hey, Tristan, how you doing? Oh, my God. Bro, what the heck? Why would it not build? That was really close. That was terrifying too. Just turn the light on, see something like that. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at my head. Oh my god. Hey, remember that canteen I made like two days ago? Yeah, I lost it somehow. I had no idea where it went. I guess I just threw it out of my inventory. I don't know. It was gone, so I needed to make another one. Because mining? Yeah, mining gets very thirsty down there trying to, trying to pull rocks out of a mine. So I needed to do that, and that meant more hunting. It seemed like I was spending more and more time hunting in the woods. But uh, you know what? It's fine, okay? I just went into the mountains. Oh, my God.
Yep. I don't know. I just, I'm gonna snipe him. Where you at, mate? You're gonna lose. 